In this hour, we will be talking with Marshall Allen, a journalist, about a, a scam from Big Pharma that is costing hundreds of millions of dollars to the American people. But before we get to that, I want to set the stage with something else that's going on with Big Pharma. It's something I wrote about over the past week for the nation. It's the habit that our government has of spending money, the people's money, to develop new scientific breakthroughs and then giving that discovery to private industry to profit off of, to make billions of dollars off of, and sometimes to deny access to the very people who, in the name of uh, a national community, uh, developed the product. Here, uh, let me tell you what I mean. Okay, uh, what I wrote about was a possible Zika vaccine, a vaccine for the Zika virus that was funded uh, by the United States Army. The Army has a research division. The Army, of course, is concerned about epidemics and pandemics. So they funded research into a vaccine that could prevent uh, the Zika virus from uh, affecting people, especially expectant mothers. Now, just as a reminder, when uh, an expectant mother has uh, the Zika virus, the Zika virus doesn't harm adults very much, but children in the womb can wind up with microcephaly, they can wind up with lesions of the brain, calcification of the brain, blindness, deafness, terrible things can happen when uh, a mother gives birth to a child after having experienced the Zika virus. So the Army has already spent $43 million helping a French pharmaceutical manufacturer named Sanofi uh, look into this. So Sanofi, by the way, it's been all upside for them, all profit, uh, research funded by the American people. Uh, it looks very promising. The trials are not done yet for this new vaccine, but we're getting to the stage where we need to look at uh, final trials and rolling this vaccine out for manufacture, distribution, and sale. Here's where it gets ugly. The government, including the army, is in the habit of giving these publicly funded discoveries to private industry. In this case, they want to give an exclusive patent to this discovery to Sanofi, the same firm, and when they give it, they are, are applying absolutely no limits. Sanofi can charge whatever it wants. So it can make this vaccine unaffordable to the very people who need it most. Now, bear in mind that, uh, first of all, people in third world countries will need this vaccine because the mosquito that carries the Zika virus lives in warm areas, in swampy areas, humid areas. So a lot of third world countries could be priced out of getting this medication altogether with tragic results for uh, for tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands or more of newborn infants and their families. Here in the United States, Zika is most prevalent in South Florida, in Louisiana, and in other states that have significant lower income populations, and that's where the disease is most prevalent. But nevertheless, the government wants to pay Sanofi an additional $130 million and then say, charge whatever you want for it, you have exclusive rights to it, we don't care. Folks, this is absolutely out Outrageous. We've done this before with other drugs. Sanofi, like other big pharma manufacturers, makes a habit of overcharging Americans, including veterans for drugs, overcharging people in other countries for drugs. We've got to say that these discoveries belong to the people. They need to be put to, the, to work serving the people, and they need to be made available to anyone here or worldwide who needs them.